All right, so you have your Facebook account, you created your Facebook business account, and then you've created your Facebook ads account, which is connected to your business account, which is connected to your main Facebook account. This is what we've done so far, and as you see, it's all connected. In this lesson, we are going to install and configure the Facebook pixel. The Facebook pixel is a small piece of code that you are going to embed into your website. Once there, the pixel will gather a whole bunch of data and information on the visitors who are visiting your site. In other words, the Facebook pixel calls these events. Every time a visitor does something on your website, the Facebook pixel writes it down and it remembers this information. For example, when someone clicks on your ad and goes into your product page on your website and he's viewing your product, this action is called view content. So that's an event that Facebook pixel is going to write down. When someone adds to cart or abandons the cart or writes their personal information to buy something from your website, or if they even enter their email address to subscribe to your newsletter, or if they're just browsing your site, everything that they're doing on your site will be written down as an event in Facebook Pixel's memory. Now, Facebook Pixel is kind of like a muscle. The more data and information you feed it, the bigger and better it gets. Now, what it does with all of this information is it simply remembers all of the events and the type of audiences that are interacting with your website. So the next time when you create an ad, Facebook Pixel will have a better picture of what kind of audience they need to reach out to, the ones that are relevant to the niche or product that you are trying to sell. And once again, the more information that we feed the pixel, the bigger and better that it's going to get when it comes to optimizing and finding audiences that even look alike to the audiences that are correct for my website. So the more people interact with our website, the more Facebook pixel will know how to reach out to those people and more audiences that look alike to those people. So this way we'll always be optimizing and optimizing and reaching out to better and more relevant audiences. That's one small example of what the Facebook pixel can do for us and it's completely free to use. So in order to install the pixel, head back to your Facebook business manager and on the left side, click on more tools, then click on events manager. Now on the right side, make sure that you have the right ad account selected since I have a few ad accounts. I'm going to have to choose the correct one. And in my case, it's Doggy Dog Club. That's what I named my ad account at the end. So now I'm going to see the events manager for my Facebook ad account, which I created in the last lesson with you guys. Now that the page loaded, head on to the left side and click on that green plus icon. Connect a new data source. Click on the web option and click on get started. Now choose Facebook pixel and click on connect. Now enter a name for your pixel. So we're going to call this doggy dog club pixel since we want everything to be connected. And later on, when you're going to learn new niches, you'll create a separate ads account for that niche and a separate pixel for that niche so that you will always have a separation between everything and everything will stay connected with its own niche and category. Next, enter your website address and then click continue. Next, click on use a partner integration. Now choose Shopify, turn on automatic advanced matching, click continue. Now follow the step-by-step -step instructions as given by Facebook. So the first thing that they're telling you to do is go to your Shopify dashboard and click on online store. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Click on online store. Next, click on preferences. Let's go back to Facebook. Click on continue. So we already clicked on online store. We already clicked on preferences. Now they're telling you to copy and paste your pixel ID. Head back to Shopify. In the preferences, scroll down to Facebook pixel. Click on set up Facebook. Scroll down and click add sales channel. Click on connect account. After you put in your credentials, go ahead and continue. Next, choose the business manager which you created in the last lesson. Click on connect. Now choose the right Facebook page. So we are on Doggy Dog Club. Click on connect. Next, click on claim page. Click on add page to connect. Next, you'll have to choose the correct ad account. So in my case, it's the Doggy Dog Club ad account which I created. You choose your own ad account which you created. Click on connect, view and accept their terms. Each one is going to give you a different pop-up, which you're going to have to click on the blue accept on the top. So this is the first one. Here's the second one. So there we go. You have accepted these terms of service. Go ahead and skim through these terms to understand exactly what this is all about. It's for your own protection and it's not that much to read. Next, head back to Shopify. 
click on done. Now let's head on to data sharing. This is where we're going to connect the Facebook pixel to our Shopify account so that Facebook pixel can already start working and track events on our website. So here you're going to have to turn on customer data sharing. Next, choose maximum so that Facebook pixel will try to always get the maximum amount of data, whether they have ad blockers or not. So use maximum for maximum effectiveness of the pixel. Then scroll down and choose which pixel you want to use. And if you have more than one pixel, that's why you need to name them. So in my case, it's the doggy dog club pixel. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. And as you can see, now my pixel is connected with Shopify and you can confirm that by the pixel ID that I told you guys to copy from Facebook. So let's go back to Facebook. Here's the pixel ID that they gave us. By the way, this is the old fashioned way to copy and paste. Now Shopify is doing the whole Facebook integration, which I just showed you guys. So if you would have copied this code and searched for it on this page, as you can see, it's the same number that we're seeing here on the doggy dog club pixel. So I know that I added the right pixel. Now I'm going to click on confirm. Now the next step is to test the pixel and make sure that it's tracking each event. So let's head back to the Facebook page that we were on where we had to copy the pixels code and click on continue. Now Facebook is allowing us to test our pixel and see if it works. So in order to test it, let's write the website address over here and then click on send test traffic. Now let's go inside one of the products that we have and let's head back to the pixel. And as you can see, the pixel is active. We got that green circle over here and the last event that the Facebook pixel received is within the last hour. So now that we see that it's active and it got an event that we just did, go ahead and click on continue. And now we can track each event and see that each one works by testing it in the events manager. Click on test events in events manager and let's go ahead and test out our pixel and make sure that the events really are working. So once again, enter your web address over here and click on open website. Now let's go back to the pixel and here we go. We have a page view which just happened right now. So the page view is the event that I just did. Now let's click on one of the products and go back to the pixel. Now let's wait for that view content. And here is the view content. So we have a new page view and a view content, which is exactly what I just did over here. I'm viewing the product page, which is a view content event for the Facebook pixel. Now let's click on add to cart and see that the pixel recognizes that too. So click on add to cart. Let's go back to the pixel. And as you can see, here is the add to cart event. So as you can see, each event that every viewer will do on your shop will be tracked on Facebook's pixel. So I hope that you guys understood everything that we had in this video. As you see, things are starting to get a little bit technical, but the more you work on it, the easier it's going to get. Believe me, everything is connected, everything makes sense, and everything works. If you didn't understand something, you can go ahead and rewatch the video. There's absolutely no shame in that. And if you have any questions at any time, you can always feel free to reach out to us. Your assignment for this lesson is to install the Facebook pixel and test the events manager to make sure that every event that's done on your website is working and being tracked by the Facebook pixel. And I'll see you in the next lesson where you are going to learn about audience research so that you can research your audience the right way to reach out to the right audience when you start creating your ads, which is coming up in the lesson after that. See you in the next lesson.